Let's kick it off with what you're going to need. You're gonna need a cardboard box, some straws, like drinking straws, some silver spray paint or paint, and some paper, which I do not have right there. The first step is to cut off one of the sides, because you are not going to need that, of course. So just cut that right off, and then you're gonna have to cut off the top of the cardboard box, because you're also not going to need that part and then you're going to want to decide if you're going to have it which way will suit your figures best so and just cut along the bottom of that strip do not cut it fully off just leave it hanging like so so next you're just going to want to get whatever you're going to choose for the flooring and just line it up and stick it down on the floor so I'm using some black paper and I've stuck it down with some sticky tape and that's fitting really nice and then next you're going to want to get the walls done so do not stick these down yet just line up the paper or whatever you're using to see how much paper and where it's all going to fit on so I'm going to only need two in a little bit so I've got the two pieces here and I'm just going to design some, a brick wall design onto them. You, ca you can print it on. Personally, I do not have that much ink in my printer, so I'm going to just draw the brick wall by hand, as you can see, ruling out the lines, making sure that they're all nice and even and straight. Just so it looks pretty decent. And there's my brick wall design. I've coloured it in with a brown pencil. It's pretty dull. I might I'll re re go over it later. But I've texturized it. Looks pretty cool. And then just stick that on the walls with some tape again. And it looks pretty nice. So the next step is with your straws. You should want it. These are going to be used as piping just to make the wall look more realistic and really give that edgy feel so just measure like how you want them to look on your wall and then just spray paint them silver and they will turn out looking really nice so just put them put a straw in another straw line them up how you want them on your backstage wall and then just get some sticky tape and tape them on so this is how mine has turned out looks really nice in person the walls look a little dull on camera but I'll fix that in the future so that's pretty much it just get some accessories and put them in the set so there's this trash can I've made a tutorial on that check it out in the playlist below and yeah it, it's a little small but you set the camera up on a good angle and you can't even tell this is, I'm definitely going to be using this for my stop motion videos. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Looks really nice in my opinion. So if there's going to be a part 2 to this video, as you saw that other bit of cardboard, I'm going to make that into another set. So stay tuned for that part. And as always, this is Suplex Network signing off. What's up guys, it is Suplex Don't Get Back in with the part 2 of making the backstage arena. So as you can see on the right of this model, that is what I made with the window and whatnot. So let's start off with what you will need. You're going to need some cardboard, some paper, some tape, some markers, some scissors and some clear plastic which you just get from any sort of packaging. So the first step is get your figure and line up where you want your window to be. So I'm just making it about head height because then you can slam figure's head through it and then you're just going to cut out that rectangle. So as you can see there's that rectangle and you're going to get your clear plastic and line it up and cut out a little bigger than that um, hole is. And then the same as my breakaway glass, you can just cut an X 
in the middle of this plastic, you're not going to want to cut it fully off, just cut an X, like so, and then you're going to tape that to the back side of your wall. Now as you can see, it is looking pretty basic now, but the figure's hands will go through the glass and it looks pretty cool. So next I'm going to start cleaning it up a little, I'm going to get some white paper and just stick it underneath the window, trying not to get the tape on the X I put on the window because then it will like tape it back up and you don't want that so just tape it up and design it however you wish. I've made it like looking like some padding on the wall. It's looking pretty dull up the top though so I'm just going to get some black paper for the top and stick it over the top of the window like so. But now of course we're going to want to cut out the hole so you can see the window so just get your scissors on the back side and just gently poke a hole in the in a top corner be careful of your fingers you don't want to stab yourself and just do it gently so it doesn't make a mess and then you've got the hole and you're going to want to cut the rectangle or whatever shape you got out. So as you can see I've taped it all up and the tape is looking really glossy so you're going to want to put a frame around your window. You can use whatever you want. I use red tape of course it's not the best you can do but you it's just what I had. You can use yeah, fucking, I want to make that thing right there. That's but what yeah, I wanted to make right there. Easy peasy. Two, I need spray paint, cardboard. See it? There may be a See how, how he made that? In the future, it looks like a real backstage video. building. Comment down below. Leave a like, like subscribe if you are new to this channel. And this is Suplex Network.